I'm gonna talk over, okay? Okay. Um, shit. I'm like, where's my keyboard? So undo is, uh, where's the. Uh, you push down and. Undo, undo, undo. That one. Oh, there you go. Undid it. I undid it, did it. Okay. So this is the Dell pen. It's got two buttons, two barrel buttons. Uh, nothing on the back. This is the old Axiotron pen, the base pen that used to sell for 20 bucks on eBay. The tip looks about the same. Obviously, thicker grip for this pen. It's pretty nice ergonomically. Let's see if the eraser works. No, so the driver currently uh, is that's not exposed for whatever reason. Uh, clearly, th this is pre-pro sample, so it's not going to have the final software. Just keep that in mind. Uh, things like the dials. Um, UI is currently overlapping, so you know it's just kind of hiding the stuff. So they, they told me that they're gonna fix all that. It's still being tweaked. Uh, if you look at the dial, though, let's talk about the dial real quick. Uh, well, they're calling it the totem, but unlike the Surface uh, Studio dial, this is a very simple hardware. It's really just. Again, this is this is a pre-pro sample, so you're not gonna see any of this in the final retail product, but you have five contact points, four of them which uh, determines a position on the screen, and the fifth one is a, is a button that you actuate by pushing down on the whole device. You can see that. So that's action, this is position. So when you spin the dial, you're actually spinning the whole thing. So I don't know if you can see the texture moving, but there is no separate dial function. It's really, literally those four contact points spinning in, on the screen, telling the computer what position they're in. It's really clever. It's really inexpensive way to do the same thing that Surface uh, Studio Dial is doing. So I like the implementation. Uh, that's that's why they can include this for free and. They plan to have a bunch of different ones. Uh, I don't see any other uh, form factor right now. There's supposedly a smaller, thinner one as well, which is really easy to do. But for now, it's just this one. Again, this, you're not gonna see any of this stuff, and they're currently trying to change the texture of the surface here that slides around the screen. Right now, it's very slippery. I kind of like that, but they're kind of, they want to get a new tactile surface that keeps it somewhat on the screen when it's tilted. I personally don't mind because you know I'm gonna hold it in my hand, so it's not a big deal for me. But they're still working on that. So even in this uh, sort of beta software uh, pre-pro sample form, it's, the Dell canvas is very, very impressive, and it really depends on the price that they uh, end up reaching. But you know, seventeen hundred dollars for uh, the touch model. This touch is, I'm not exactly sure, but. Um, because I haven't tried the 27 QX uh, QHD's touch, but I've been told that the touch on that product is not very satisfying. This touch is very, very impressive. So I'm fairly certain that the touch on the canvas is way better than the 27 QHD. It's very smooth. Sketch Puzzle is always very good at this UI manipulation, but with this uh, Dell canvas it's really really smooth and again this is 20 points of touch on the Dell canvas instead of the usual 10 points that you see in other devices so along with the classic UD pen that's very reliable and very well performing and I don't know if you can see the uh, personal location but it's pretty dead on I, and you know this pen has to be calibrated for this it's pretty damn good See if there's edge jitter. Uh, no, it's pretty good. It's, it's right at the, even at the edges, it's pretty good. So, very impressive uh, for sure. And um, 
I don't know what else we can talk about here other than, well, lack of an eraser. I know some people were complaining, but to me, the eraser is the dumbest thing because it takes too long for me to switch the stance on the, just push a button for the eraser and you'll have pressure sensitive eraser instead anyways. So this is the uh, quick uh, test of the totem and the pens on the canvas. Very nice job, I think. Uh, and depending on the price, and if they actually do the tilt function as they promise, uh, this is gonna be a 27 QHD killer, for sure.